What's going on, everybody? Do I have a good video for you guys today? This is kind of a throwback video from about two years ago when I was in Tennessee. And before you ask, no, I'm not trying to floss my uh, Funko Pop collection in the back, even though it's pretty awesome. But this video is actually an answer to a subscriber who left a comment in one of my older videos asking about the American flag I used to have behind me. It was made by Nashville Metal Art in Nashville, Tennessee. And, um, I was going to redirect him to that video, but I was looking for it on my YouTube channel and it's gone. And uh, I searched and searched and searched and the, the video is no longer active. And it really kind of upset me that it's just gone off my channel and uh, I don't know why. I didn't take it off and it just disappeared. So I really missed this sign. I decided to put it back up. So it's going to be behind me again in all the videos. And uh, God, it just, I think it looks really cool. It's a Second Amendment sign, well-regulated militia. And I thought, hey, let me repost this video because I worked hard on it. It's one of my earlier videos. And it's the first one where I actually traveled around somewhere to do a video, which was really, really cool. It was about two, maybe, God, almost three years ago. It was about two years ago. And so without further ado, my one of my first traveling videos, Nashville Metal Art. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and share this video. I'd really, really appreciate it. And put down below if you shared it in the comments. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy. Well, it's Wednesday afternoon and it started to rain a little bit in Nashville and I'm headed over to my next stop. I've been seeing these ads on my Instagram for a long time about Nashville metal art. And uh, they make the, like the US flags out of steel and they powder coat them. And uh, they make them look all jazzy and I, I really want to get one especially for my live stream and I was almost gonna order them when I did my 10k giveaway and I saw that I'd be going to Tennessee I reached out to him and I said hey I'm gonna be in an area can I just come pick it up personally and uh, maybe do a little review of your shop and see uh, see how you guys make these signs and ask a few questions kind of poke around a little bit and um, they said yeah come on by so I'm heading up there now, and I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to check this place out because I really dig these signs, and I think it's going to look awesome uh, in the office. We shall see. We made it. We're at Nashville Metal Art, and uh, as you can see, no branding on the building. Very low-key. I like this place. Hey guys, it was pretty loud inside the facility, so I decided just to do a quick voiceover of the tour. And what you're looking at now is the Second Amendment sign I bought while I was there. Uh, man, the fit, finishing quality of this thing is unbelievable. So let's see how it's made. Every design here starts out with these giant sheets of steel, and they vary in thickness depending on the order of what the customer is looking for. Once the design is decided on, it goes into the computer and this machine here cuts it out. I don't know about you, but I could watch this thing for hours. It's pretty cool. Once each piece is cut out, it's then sanded down by hand. You can't go cutting off the fingers of your customers, so it has to be nice and smooth. All the edges have to be trimmed up pretty nice. Usually after the piece is sanded smooth, it would go straight to powder coating. But in the case of the American flag pieces that they produce, there's one extra step, and that's uh, getting the bluing on the star section. And the way they do this is they actually have to burn it carefully in uh, with this torch here. The crazy thing is, if they burn it too long, it turns black and they can't use it. If they burn it just enough, it turns this beautiful blue. After that torch treatment, each piece is set out to be powder coated. This is a real tedious process and it has to be done uh, pretty close to perfect as possible to get a really good finished product. After powder coating, each piece is wrapped individually and sent out to be shipped. 
Let's take a minute and talk about QC or quality control. Before each piece is wrapped, they're inspected for any flaw, blemish in the paint, blemish in the manufacturing at all, any bend, warp, any imperfection, it gets scrapped and sent over to this pile to be recycled. Every single piece that leaves this facility is 100% spot on. They can make just about everything. This helmet piece was just hanging on the wall and it was about three feet in size. Pretty cool. I really knew I was in the right spot when I walked through the front door of the office and on the wall was this Nissan GTR black. One of their head designers, Philip, had made it just kind of goofing off and I fell in love. And when he found out I owned a Nissan GTR myself, he, uh, he gave it to me and man, that was pretty cool because this thing is never leaving my wall and I might even powder coat it Bayside Blue, which is a very famous Nissan GTR color. To hang these up on the wall, you just need to pick up a few of these mounting magnets. I got these from Amazon. It was like uh, 15 in there for around 20 bucks. You just need about two or three per picture. And then, you know, of course, the heavier you go, the more you'll need. Super easy to put up. And here it is, my Nashville Metal Art Second Amendment US flag, hung at home on the wall. Man, this thing is cool. I can't stop messing with it. Everyone keeps asking me about it. It is really a conversation piece for sure. The fit and finish, can't beat it. The bluing on the stars, everything just looks great. As you can see on my last live stream, it really looks good in the background. It's uh, really eye-catching and I got a, about six or seven messages that night asking me about it. I believe this was the live stream with uh, the firearm guy I did a few days ago. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. We really went over a lot of good 2A subjects and just had a good time. Try not to miss these live streams. I actually bought two pieces of wall art while I was there. One was the Second Amendment flag that's hanging behind me. And the other one was a 48 inch Pledge of Allegiance flag, which is really, really cool. If you have little kids at home or you just want something that's gonna be a real good centerpiece, that's the one to hang in the middle of your house. That is cool. But when I was showing my brother these in Atlanta, he really kind of liked it. So he's a vet and I love him a lot. So I thought I would just give it to him it would look much better hanging in his house. Besides, I'll probably end up buying another one anyway. And that was my visit to Nashville Metal Art. A very special thank you to Jessica for letting me come in and bug her and her staff for an hour. It was really a lot of fun and I can't thank you guys enough. If anyone out there has seen these advertisements on Instagram or Facebook and has even thought about getting one of these, just do it. They are really, really cool. Just two quick announcements. If you're gonna go to the Trinity Armory Meet on April 24th, please register. Details below in the description. And I do have another announcement. It almost feels like YouTube is kind of shadow banning the channel. I've been getting like uh, one day 25, 30 subscribers, next day zero, zero, zero. Sometimes I get a few thousand views, the next day zero. I don't know what's going on. It's so if you can share these videos on your social media, I'd really, really appreciate it. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.